When we were previously looking at this example, we had an auto smooth that was a little bit higher on it. Uh, right now we see that the auto smooth is at one. We will actually set the auto smooth to maybe something like 60, or actually we'll set the auto smooth here, which brings about shading artifacts. So normally I wouldn't let the auto smooth go down to something like one because that will begin adjusting the shading of the bevel itself. In order to emphasize this, we'll just set another difference here in order to just give ourselves a little bit more trouble happening with this particular mesh. There we go. So now you can see that the shading is beginning to break down on the surface. So for that reason, alt clicking will bring about something called weighted normal. So by alt clicking, you can just add a weighted normal on your mesh and it will actually recalculate the sharpening information. The good thing about our weighted normal is that if you have weighted normals on your stack and they're possibly out of order, just clicking our option in the menu will basically reorder all of them in the stack and ensure that in, on every object for everything selected that a weighted normal is placed at the end, ensuring that your shading is never broken. One of our rules with hops is to try to have the shading first and foremost. So if you do run into shading issues, the tools are definitely there to help you make it as good as possible. So if you're not able to alt click sharpen, just know that you can always go to add modifier and add it via the weighted normal. 